Hello everyone. In previous videos, we saw how to install Eclipse and IntelliJ IDEA code editor on Windows and also we saw how to run simple Hello World program using Eclipse and IntelliJ IDEA. In this tutorial, we are going to learn basic concepts in JSL. We are going to see what JSL is, how to launch JSL prompt and how to write Java code in JSL prompt and also we are going to see the differences between before Java 9 and from Java 9. Okay, we will see what JSL is. JSL is nothing but Java cell. It's a programming tool which is introduced in Java 9. Java cell is a REPL interface. REPL is nothing but R means read which means read the input Java code. E means eval which is evaluate the source code. P as print means print put the results. L means loop which means loop around and wait for the next input. Java cell tool is introduced in Java 9. Before Java 9, if you want to run even simple hello world Java program, you need class and main method. There are number of keywords and concepts like package, public, class, static, void, string and lot more. With the Java cell, you don't need class, main method, etc. Okay, let's see how to launch Java cell prompt in PowerShell. We will see how to launch it in common prompt as well. In order to launch JSL prompt in PowerShell in Windows environment, click window, Windows key and enter PowerShell and click enter. Once PowerShell prompt open, here we have to check our Java version because like I said, we need Java 9 or higher version in your Windows environment. So, enter Java hyphen version. Here you can see the Java version is 11. If you haven't installed JDK in your Windows environment, I have already created video for it. I will give you the link in the description box below. Please watch it and install JDK in your machine before watch this video. Okay, so in order to launch JSL here, enter JSL. So you can see the JSL terminal here. To get help in JSL, enter slash help intro. Like I said before, we need class and um, main method to print hello, hello world before Java 9. With Java cell, just enter system.out.println within double quotes enter hello world within the parenthesis within double quotes enter hello world click enter here semicolon is optional here you can see the hello world you can see the hello world message using java 10 bare keyword as well since i have java 11 here where message equal to hello, hello world within double quotes okay sorry i missed the or in where so you see here we can see the results here right so so semicolon is optional here okay now if you want to add any two numbers or inti integer just enter example you know suppose if you want to add 5 plus 6 5 plus 6 just press enter so see now you can see the answer right answer 11 right so same way you can subtract numbers and you know suppose if you want to multiply the numbers example 2 into 3 just you know enter 2 into 3 press enter you can see the results 6 here and also for if you want to divide to numbers example enter 4 by 2 you can see the results 2 here right this is very simple right we don't need to write extra code to add or subtract or any divide divide or multiply multiply any numbers right so the okay now let's see how to write multiplication table in JSL. before that you know we will see how to 
write to multiplication table in Eclipse. So here you know we have a class main method everything is there. In order to print multi any multiplication table for loop is a suitable iteration mechanism to get this done. So, so we are going to print two multiplication table. So int i is varies from 1 to, 10, 1 to 10 then it will update i plus plus. This print is controlled by i taking the values from 1 through 10. System dot out dot print and actually we can accept one values as an argument at, at a maximum. So to display the multiplication table for two with a calculated value, we need a way to print both numbers and strings. So right. So for this we we would need to use another built-in method called system dot out dot printf. When system dot out dot printf is called with a single string argument it prints some illegal information in order to get the proper result that we can call uh, another method called print ln method in order to print the uh, two multiplication table okay let's see how to write this in json in the prompt just enter for loop within for loop we would need to use system dot out dot print of built in method when system dot out dot print of is called with a single string argument it prints some illegal information in order to get the result we need to call println method on this see we can see the two multiplication table here like i said without having class and main method we can get the result it's cool right so in the same way we can launch jsl prompt in command prompt as well the command prompt just enter jsl here you can play around in jsl terminal okay today we saw how to launch jsl prompt and also the differences between java 8 and java 9 to exit from jsl prompt you have to enter slash exit here you can see the goodbye message this is how we you have to play around in jsl terminal thank you for watching